Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm the Play This Bird and this is Let's Play Corner Trigger with all the endings. You remember in our last episode we said we were going to go to the future to find the birthplace of the machines? And we went to the spot on the map where Robo told us to go in the end of time. And that led us here. I am familiar with this place. Please allow me to take the lead. And I'm bringing Magus along with us just because he's got the superior... Uh, I should say he has a spear magic attack. What I meant to say was he needs a TP probably the most out of all the other characters. So Robo says he wants to lead. We'll just put him in the font. No big deal. We had him in our party already. Who enters my sanctum unbidden? My, my, welcome home, R66Y. Or should I say Prometheus? And behind you, fleshlings? I have not seen creatures of flesh for many a day. Let me welcome them. Come, come within. He, he, he. We just got locked in by the mother of the machine. Let's see what capabilities they possess. All right, you want me to see? I'll show you. Come at me. Oh, ain't that cute. You got little machines. You know what I got? I got Luminaire. And you got a bunch of broken machines. You know what else I got? I got Magus with... Ooh, we got Darkness now. It sort of looks in... Sort of looks like an opposite Water 2. Because Water 2 flows from the top to bottom. Yeah, except it's in shadow instead of uh, water. But it works! And unlike Luminaire, it's only 10 MP. So, I can spam this pretty well. For a while. Eighteen hundred experience, thirty-two TP. Robo's level went up. Come on, machine. Is this the best you got? Because you're not doing a good job at, you know, besting me right now. Come on, give me a challenge. You know, throwing more enemies at me isn't really a challenge. It's just giving a lot more XP and TP. Dun. Magus is just wiping these things out single-handedly. It's funny to watch. Not bad for humans. I'll be looking forward to greeting you. Okay, left is right. Oh, look at them like electrocute. So, that looks so cool. And four XP, 19 TP. 300 years ago, the lava's disaster brought drastic and devastating change to this planet. At its current rate of decline, humanity is doomed. The disease you call despair already consumes you from within. I disagree. We are here to... We are here to stop that from happening. Let's go ahead and heal up. There was a doll back there. Wait, what? Uh... Um... What is going on here? Something prevented me from getting that doll in that chest, and I can't do anything about it. Well, I'll have to come back here later. There is a chest over here, though. We obtained a high potion just as we got into an uh, into a fight. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. I'm just so excited to play Chrono Trigger. I have been, you know, since I upload, I, I can play games in batches. And I can honestly say that I've been playing this game 
almost on stop. It has just been between, um, you know, like I try to play Hero You once a day so we can uh, post a video of it. And I am thoroughly enjoying Hero You. But with Hero You, I'm sort of like marinating the taste where, you know, I'm enjoying it in nice slow increments and just really enjoying the game. With Chrono Trigger, I just want to play it. It's like, I just want to keep playing it. Uh, we can access information on Geno Dome via this terminal. What shall I pull up first? Uh, Sentinels. The Sentinels protect the figurines mood to thwart the progress of any who approach. Consequently, allowing two Sentinels to face one another will cause both the short circuit. In the unfortunate event that this should occur, please deposit the disabled Sentinels in the rooms upstairs. Anything else? Doors. The energy pods locked doors must be charged before such doors will open. Energize first in the pod to the left and then enter the pod next to the locked door. Yes. Com uh, Sentinels. Oh wait, I already did the Sentinels. We gotta get another one, right. And I already did the door. Uh, I don't know how to click apparently. Conveyor belt. The conveyor belt to the right can be reversed by means of the switch located in the room beyond. And figurines. The two figurines on this floor are required for those desiring an audience with mother brain. <laughs> boss's name mother brain that's great do not remove them without permission nothing else we got a bit of electricity flowing now and then we like go on the pod or something doesn't seem to work what's this we got lasers attacking us That's a nice little trick. It's got like some sort of sacrifice on it. All right, Magus is basically drained of MP and we learn proximity bond. The next attack we learn is electrocute. Zap all enemies with electricity. Ooh. So what I want to do is I want to make this a little bit easier on my ethers. And instead of the power ring, we're gonna give him the gold set and we're just gonna luminaire everything to death. Uh, huh, huh. Think it's some sort of code? I don't know what that did. Oh, it opened up the pod. Okay, so now what we can do, if I read this correctly, just run in here, get a bolt of lightning, and then run over here. And then we got the doll. And we need two of them, so we need to get another sentinel. Is this thing only for that door? Yeah, I think that thing's only for that door. So we got the right code. Now we need to get a sentinel. And we need to reverse the conveyor belt. Actually, we need lightning here as well. So we put lightning here. It opens that door. And we got some chests. Obtained a high potion. And 50,000 gold. Which I could have used to buy another one of those status resist helmets. But we just got the prism helmets. Which, by the way, we are using, right? Yes, we are using... No, actually, we are not. I'm glad I checked. Uh, who has the other prism helmet? Who has the other prism helmet? Do we not equip it? Yeah, we just didn't equip it. Okay. Oh, I'm glad we checked. We don't want to go on the teleports yet. Because I see a little flashy thing over there. Take the waste tube back to the entrance. No, I don't want to do that. I do want to fight this guy, though. And the reason I want to fight this guy, it goes with my philosophy of... You know, let's fight everything. And by fighting everything, maybe then we don't have to grind. And sure enough, we really haven't need to grind in this game. Uh, this game has done a wonderful job at giving you, you know, EXP and TP from just fighting the enemies that you fight. 1300 experience, TP, another level up. And here's a door. 
I bet you anything. Yeah, I was about to say, I bet you anything, guys are gonna jump out of there. Today's episode is brought to you by Luminaire. Because when you need to light up a bunch of machines, you just air out your grievances with Luminaire. Obtained elixir and a lapis. That's eh, not great. Oh, we need a. Uh, we need electricity here. There's no way I don't think we'll be able to get the electricity all the way over here. There's a laser beam blocking us. Uh, hello? I'm kind of stuck. Okay, that was. That was weird. That was a thing, I guess. I don't know what happened, but apparently that's a thing. Did they say that we can reverse the elevator by going to the room behind? Is that this room here? Which means if that is that room, we should be able to get there in time. Cause I don't know how else you're supposed to do it. All right, you guys, we need to run really, really fast. Let's go, 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 go. Don't stop, don't stop. Come on, you can do this. Keep the lightning up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh yeah. Just in time too. Obtain a turbo ether and a high ether. Oh, that thing came out now. Oh, look, it's following us. The little robot friend is following us. Come on, dude. You need to go up, you need to go up. Come on. And remember, when two sentinels face each other, they short circuit, right? So we need to bring this guy all the way to the other one. If this thing will follow us correctly. Come on. Come on. I knew you can do it, little guy. There you go. Come on. You see that? This game even has escort quests. <laughs> Thankfully, this thing's not like Ashley. Okay, show each other out. Come on, show each other out. There we go. Obtained a vigilance hat. Probably useless because we got prismatic helmets. Uh, prevents all stats and minutes. Yeah, it's useless. And we got the other one. So now that we got both of them, we can meet Mother Brain according to the computer. So we could go up that way. Actually, I think we do have to go up that way, don't we? Because this way is blocked off by a laser beam. And we can't seem to get over there. So I think that's the only way we can go. Let's do it. Going up. Oh, a save point. Let's drop a shelter. When you don't use a directional pad, you find out that your uh, your cursor goes all over the place. Which is unfortunate. It just is what it is. I see a little tabby thing. Straight capsule! <laughs> see, I meant to go down with Chrono and I went down into the left because I'm using the, uh, the analog stick instead of the directional pad. Because the analog stick is easier on my hand. Or is it on my fingers, I should say. Welcome home, Prometheus. Hey, it's a lady robot. At Topos. Yes, it's been some time, hasn't it? Come and join me. There's no need to pretend you're on their side anymore. All oh, the dots. He <laughs> Unlike the other R series units, Prometheus was given a give it a special task to live with humans and study them as a species. Indeed. It's no lie. Tell them, Prometheus. All the dots. I'm sorry. All the dots. Step aside now, Prometheus. 
We'll eliminate these humans and go see mother. <laughs> Let's be on our way. Ooh. What are you doing, Prometheus? I will not allow you to hurt them. You have been damaged then. They must have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then I can fix you. Atopos, you have changed. You are not the robot I knew before. No, I've been upgraded. Mother made me to re eliminate humans more efficiently. Step aside, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus. I'm not gonna let you hurt a friend. Please wait. Stand back and leave this to me. Wait, are we gonna really do that? Atopos. Prometheus. What? A one-on-one -on -one fight? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, proximity bomb? Or rapid fire fist? Probably should have rapid fire fist. Yeah, rapid fire fist works a lot better. We have the stats, so we should be able to just. Ooh! As soon as I say that, she does 300 damage on me. Now the question is do we keep attacking or do we heal? I think we should keep attacking. Keep attacking or heal. Keep attacking. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, now I think we should heal. I should have healed. Please don't die, Robo. Robo! Oh, he's got the red vest on. That's right. How about that? You are a fool. That will not work on me. Oh, we're out of mana. You know, I honestly did not know that this fight would happen where this enemy would use fire spells. I just chose a random vest and somehow I got lucky and I chose the right vest. Pro Prometheus, it's been some time, hasn't it? Atropos, I'm damaged. What happened? Atropos, my memory banks. I must have, yes. When mother overwrote my old programs, I I backed up my memory. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Atopos. I want you to have this. You can plug it into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. Atropos' ribbon raises Robo speed by 3 and magic defense by 10. Do you remember what I said like a long time ago where Robo was really good in the end game and not so much in the beginning? That's why. Although I don't remember ever. I don't remember that. I don't remember him. I mean, look at his speed now. His speed is a 12. His speed is a 12. His speed is. I mean, he has a speed ring equipped. But then again, whenever I use Marl, I put a speed ring on her. So now he's suddenly much more useful as a character. And the best thing is his magic defense is 75, which is almost equal to Marl, but with a much higher defense. Robo is now a powerhouse, ladies and gentlemen. Shelter up. Now I do not know if that stacks. 
like in each playthrough but if it does robo could potentially be the strongest character in the game obtain a mega elixir and a magic capsule now the question is do you want to go this way which is where the girl was or do you want to go up Do you not realize why not for the existence of you creatures this planet would be at peace and yet you struggle and fight for what? Actually, the planet is not at peace because a giant alien like rock is trying to like destroy the planet. Oh, that's clever. It's like those um, those like volcano things, you know, one gets hit and then it counters and it blows up. Where are we going? Oh, we're going towards that laser area. I think we're going to shut it off. Chrono's level one up. Yep, we're just shutting this off. It's not a real big deal. Although I think we can go this way. And then this reverses this. Now what did that do? Well, the question is, once again, do we go back to where we were or do we continue on this way? Well, um, there's nothing here. W what is the point of reversing this what is the point of reversing this? It doesn't do anything. Unless I'm missing something obvious, that did absolutely nothing. Oh well, it's not like it cost us a lot of time. Besides, we got another battle and some more TP. Robo is now a complete beast. I'm really, really happy about that. Robo's a cool character, but with a six speed, it's just, it's painful to watch. Listen well, flawed and fragile health spawn, flesh spawn. Lava's children will one day return to the stars to seek out new planets, new sources of substance. When that day comes, this planet will have its chance to heal. So long as there are no humans to interfere, we robots will establish a new world order, a unified nation of steel and pure logic, a utopia free of sadness and suffering. Evolution has chosen us. We are the seeds of the next generation. Your species is obsolete. Cease your foolish struggle and surrender yourself to the fate of all failed creations. No, we're not going to do that. No way. Take 50,000 gold. Looks like it's supposed to go that way. Really? Hmm. A human processing plant. I will stop the machines. So weird having this party config because Magus gets all the voice lines because Krona doesn't talk. It is no use. There are multiple layers of protection. Destroying the mother brain mainframe is our only hope. chest obtain a high ether so it looks like the the whole point of this room was to get that high ether which is fine I, I don't mind at all we have a lot of high ethers and a lot of turbo ethers so we can go into the final areas of the game feeling pretty confident in our item situation Can I get my turn, please? Earn <sighs> 2,000 experience, 48 TB, some gold. And let's go ahead and heal ourselves up. And move on. Really, it hit me from that far away. Come on, game. Ah, uh, I swear, the, the idea of an AoE in this game just confounds me. Two 
2,000 experience, 48 TP. By the way, how are we doing on our TPs? Robo? Electrocute, 737. Chrono, you're done. Magus, 376. Left is always right? Oh. That's what those dolls are for. So you managed to reach me. I am the mother brain of the Series RY Series Factory. Come, Prometheus. Allow me to restore your logic. It'll reset your circuitry and clear your cache of memories. Then we can dispose of those filthy humans together. All the dots. I must apologize. I cannot permit you to do that. My memories are too valuable to be deallocated, and so are my friends. You would betray me to side with these humans. You would turn against all of robot kind. Humans have taught me a great deal. Chrono, Marl, Luca, Fog, and Ayla. I want to see the future that they bring about. Uh ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, don't make me laugh, Prometheus. There is no future for the humans. I'll show you just how little hope you have. Let's do this, you guys. So, how many enemies are there? There's four. Chrono, take them out. Let's light them up. Ha 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 ha. Or let's turn them off. Yeah, that works too. Mother brain running wild without displays. Oh no, that's not good. I think we just made her stronger. Uh, yeah, let's hit her hard. Magus, in this fight, you're not as useful. Uh, darkness. Frenzy. Ow. Heal up and then go right back at it. Break down. Hey, we won already. What do you know? Prometheus. Why? Terratron arm and crisis arm All factory operations have been permanently taken offline none of the machines here will will ever be reactivated Hump let us be on our way All right, let us continue Sweet so robo now got two awesome arms Attack one, last digit of own HP determines damage. Huh. I'd much rather use a much more potent terror on. I don't wanna, I, I have no idea what this does and yeah, that's a thing. Uh, what I'm gonna do though, before we call it an episode, because I've been trying to do these like one at a time, uh, just to show off each of the side characters, is I wanna go back in here and what I would like to do is I would like to go to the human area. Remember that human error? I guess I can't go back to the human area. Never mind then. So what are we gonna do next? Uh, flightless? That's a good question. There's two caves on this map that I haven't seen before. Uh, let's go ahead and explore those before we call in an episode. Let's just see what they are. This is the sun shrine again. We've seen this throughout the ages. And we were told a couple times that you had to leave like a rock um, in the sun for a long, long time. So that makes me think what we need to do is we need to go back into the past and we need to find some sort of stone that we can put into the cave. But first, let's check this other cave. Sun Temple. 
Uh, what did I just get myself into? And I didn't save. And when I healed. What is, What did I just do? Flightless, you're an idiot. I know. Uh, this... That seems like a bad idea. Roulette spin. Yeah, it's a bad idea. I think we need to target... Oh, this is bad. Okay, good news. Uh, Bobo is immune to fire. Everyone else, though, it hurts. Miss. We have to actually guess which one is it. Oh, this was a bad idea. I, I just looked and I saw a bit on the floor. And I was like, oh, look, you know, a free bit. I didn't know a boss would come out at us. Okay, the good news is we know which one to hit. So we should hit it while we can. All right, now we don't know which one to hit. So let us use... Man. I really wish we all had red vests for this fight. Let me go ahead and put a uh, berry on him. And I actually healed him because he has a shadow plate. Hey, how about that? And this time, let's see, we will attack the leftish one. Left bottom one. A crit, but I don't think we need it. Oh, what do you know? We got lucky. And then we got unlucky because it changed. Sad. Miss. It's perfectly okay though if Phobo misses. How about this one? Miss. Another flare. Kind of hurts. That's the right one. No! Did I just hit the wrong one by mistake? Did I miss menu? I miss menu'd! It does do a lot of damage, but it just makes it so it's harder to kill now. Okay, let's go for uh, randomness. Just random, 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 random. No, that's not the one I want to attack. Okay, we'll go for that one. If that doesn't work, we'll go for the one on the left. Yeah, something just tells me the way this fight works, you don't want to attack the eyeball directly. I mean, all signs just say that's not something you should do. Is that the right one? No, it's not. Is that the right one? No, it's not. That wasn't the right one either. Wow. No! I still hit that one though, but it wasn't the right one. So I need heal. Not, uh... This boss is just... I mean, it's got a fun mechanic, actually. It really does. Um, I just wish we... I just wish we had more red vests on everyone. Because we have the items. I just didn't know this fight was coming. But if we lose this fight... Which I don't think we will, it just take a while. If we lose this fight, then all we have to do is just... Son of the Sun is losing his light. I think that means we're winning. What a name, Son of the Sun. Ha ha! Take that, you flying, fiery eyeball. 3800 experience, 40 TP. Megas is level 1 up.
Now, I know I was just saying that we need to probably pause, but at the same time, I want to follow this eyeball. So, this is the Sunstone. Its power has been lost over these long years. With the sun's energy, it could likely be renewed. But that would take at least 65 million years. We obtained the Moonstone. How about that? I actually know what to do with this. Ma Magus just told us exactly what we need to do. So why don't we hop in the Epoch and do this right now? I was just saying, maybe we should go into the prehistory to search around. And we found it in the future. So what do we need to do? We need to go all the way to the top right. A little more to the left. Circle around. Land in this grove. Go in the sun shrine. Sunlight reaches this location 24 hours per day. Place the moonstone here. We should now return to my era in the epoch. And Robo tells you exactly what you're supposed to do. To the future. And I, yeah, we need to go here. The Moonstone is no longer here, but the evidence indicate it was not taken recently. We should look for an earlier error. Really? Really, someone stole it? I thought this would be an easy quest. You know what I may have to do is I may have to break this episode up into two. So if you're listening to this part and you're wondering about the commentary, about us, you know, doing this and then stopping, uh, that's probably why. I don't know how long this side quest is going to take. It does not appear to be here either. Perhaps someone from this era has taken it. Oh, great. How in the world are we supposed to find it? So where can we go? Um, Medina Village? It's gotta be close, right? It's either gotta be Medina Village or to the south. <laughs> Hello, have you seen a stone? Hi, right, yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, so uh, I'll be back in... Uh, well, actually, should I put a cut here? I don't really feel good about putting a cut here. I'm Mayor Medina. Y you would think it would be kind of obvious if someone took it, right? I say I don't feel good about putting a cut here because this is part of the game, right? And I have said before that I don't like to put cuts unless... Unless it's a, uh... Backtrack or grind. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend the night. Oh, look at Magus. He looks so adorable when he sleeps all cuddled up. All right, do you know anything about stone? Nope. Okay. Maybe uh, Melchior knows. Actually, Melchior is not here. He's in the uh, he's in the castle. Yeah, it's not here. Okay, so let's check to the southeast, right? This is closest to this sun cave. Although I doubt it's here because, you know, this area has its own little side quest. Yeah, they're all talking about the ghost. I have a feeling it's not here. Cause they're all talking about the ghost here. It's gotta be somewhere else. Oh, hello. That doesn't look suspicious at all. You're interested in the Moonstone? Pass the young travel up to here. By all means, take it. It seems to be more important to you folks. Hey, we got the Moonstone back. Help the needy and share alike. Thinking about that? Tom on Oh, because we changed the... Because we changed 
the future or the present by making him more nice by changing the past. He gave it to us for free. Ah. That makes me wonder, what happens if you weren't nice to him in the past? How do you get the stone back? Do you have to like buy it from him for a ridiculous price? I would think that would be true. Okay, so we're gonna place the moonstone back. And now we're gonna go back on the ship and fly into the future. And then we're gonna go back in the sun shrine. And look at that thing glow. My sensors detect high energy levels. Luca will likely be able to use this. We should show it to her. All right, um, Luca, you're in the party. Actually, let's replace Carno. Bye, Carno. Let's get the prismatic helm off him. And let's put it back on her. Now this is the Papa Sunstone. With energy like this, I should be able to make a really powerful weapon. Let's take it back to my house. First, we'll extract the Sunstone's energy and convert it to a more manageable form. Then, we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. And it's finished. She looks happy. Oh, look at that. Obtain Wonder Shot. Aha. Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look at this, Luca. I bought a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty of my own. Obtain sunglasses. Wonder shot. Look at the damage. Playtime determines damage. So the longer you play, the more strong it gets. Huh. It's a lot stronger already. Now it's only Luca's a powerhouse. That's awesome. She could be one of the strongest characters in the game if you just let the clock tick. Uh, we also got sunglasses, right? What are those? Boost damage. Ooh. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. I wonder if, uh, Melchior could also use the Sunstone. If I can land this ship, which I did a horrible job at, by the way. But anyway, let's go check out Melchior and see if this, uh, is something that he can use. Because he mentioned that he could combine the rainbow shell with something else. Da, 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 da. This was a long sub quest, so I'll have to see how long this video is. Normally, I don't like to make videos over an hour. I try to keep them, you know, I try to space them out based on, you know, the content of the video. Ah, a sunstone. That should do quite nicely. My work is complete. Obtain prism spectacles. Hehehe. <laughs> don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks. These arms have some use left in them yet. My work is complete. Obtain rainbow. I finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Cool. I think the rainbow is Chrono Stronger Worst Weapon, right? Yes, it is. 70% critical hit rate. So even though it drops the speed, which is a shame, look at the attack power. Holy cow. 180 to 222 with a 70% crit rate. Now that's some firepower. Well, not sure what else to do at the moment. We're gonna go check out Fog's side quest next. And I have a feeling that's gonna require us to go from 1000 to 600 BC. I guess now is a good time to stop because I just got the hiccups as well. My name is the Father's Bird. This is Let's Play Corner Trigger All Endings. And I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird.
Till next time.